Hi, Joe. Joe, how are you feeling about today? You're the last time you guys see your kids. How are you feeling? Uh, as you all know, uh, last March, Teresa Giudice and her husband, Giuseppe Giudice, pled guilty to multiple counts of mail fraud, uh, bankruptcy fraud, uh, and in his case, failing to file tax returns over a number of years. Uh, all day today, the court conducted a sentencing hearing, uh, and after hearing arguments at great length from both the defense and the government, uh, Judge Salas has imposed a 41-month sentence of imprisonment for Giuseppe Giudice and a 15-month sentence of imprisonment for Teresa Giudice. Uh, both of those sentences, in the government's view, are fair, appropriate, and reasonable sentences, and we're satisfied with the result. I don't think her celebrity paid played at all into her downfall, as you as you call it. Um, you know, we investigate and prosecute a, a lot of white collar crime. Uh, we've prosecuted in the time I've been United States Attorney well over a hundred defendants for mortgage fraud. We pro we prosecute a, at least three dozen or so folks every year for uh, internal revenue service cr criminal violations of the Internal Revenue Code. Um, the fact that um, she's a celebrity, as the judge said today, played no role in what her punishment was. Um, but we do believe that it's important, and you can see from the number of people who are here covering the story, that when someone like Teresa Giudice and Giuseppe Giudice are investigated, prosecuted, and sentenced for these kinds of white-collar crime, that it does send a message to everybody else who's watching that these are the kinds of crimes for which people should be punished and should go to jail. And we hope that people who see and hear about this will think twice before doing the same things themselves. The sentences will be staggered. The judge made that quite clear that in order to accommodate their family circumstances and in particular to make sure that the Judice's four daughters uh, are, are properly taken care of, that uh, Mrs. Giudice will surrender first on January 5th of 2015, and once she has returned from prison, then and only then will Mr. Giudice report to prison. Are you guys a big fan of Orange New Black? Teresa, what do you think of the sentence?